Hi guys and welcome back to another Sunday League video on the Northern Celtic podcast. Today we are playing up against Rushmere and Diamond's first team. We already played their reserves and we lost 3-2 but they had someone drop out so we stood up at the last minute to have a game against them. So let's have a look at our lineup starting in for this game. For the starting 11 today, we have Jordan in goal, myself, Isaac at left back, centre halves of BT and Rudders, as well as Connor at right back. In the holding midfield spot, we have Kelvin Padmore, with two players ahead of him, Callum Muttock and Charlie Turner. On the left wing, we have Aaron, up front, we have Martin, and on the right, we have Zach. And on our bench today, we have Dan Templeman, Alex McCauley, aka Treadmill, Ryan Dale, John Flatman, and new player Joe Chittock. Here we have the game today being played up at Ipswich Wanderers on the pitch behind the first team pitch. Um, like I say, going to be a tough game. So let's see if we can get some minutes out of this and get a good result. So the first attack is from us at Northern Celtic as Rushmere regain possession of the ball. They try to play it out through the midfield, but intercepted by Kelvin Padmore, who plays it. Oh, what a great touch from Aaron as he turns the midfielder there. Crosses the ball into the back post for Martin. Just missed at the far corner. And here we go. We're back in possession again with myself on the ball. Plays it inside to Charlie. First time to Kelvin. Inside there to Callum. A lovely passing move across to myself. First time back to Charlie again. Who knocks the ball over the top to Aaron. Aaron's running down the left-hand side of the pitch. Drills the ball in. Zach just misses it at the far post. Right, Rushmere in possession with the ball here in the middle of the pitch. Their midfielder plays a ball through the middle to another one of their fielders. Runs on past, not tracking our runners. Through on goal. And that is 1-0 to Rushmere and Diamond's first team. We've also had to make a substitution here for Ryan Dale to come on for Aaron Jennings as he'd hurt his back from crossing the ball in the first clip of the video today. Now this is a Sunday League tackle. Here we have Callum pressing them down. Charlie with a great interception. We're looking really good as well to start off with, coming up against a tough opposition as Rushmere and Diamonds knock the ball about around the middle of the pitch. Their number eight knocks a ball through. I haven't marked him very well at the far corner there as he turns back inside, crosses the ball in, tapped in at the near post there to make it 2-0 to the first team. Rushmere and Diamonds have possession again on the far hand side. Didn't track him very well in this game. He was a really good player, the number 14. Jordan makes a great save, but it is then tapped in to make it 3-0. Um, really good side, this first team, and they showed it throughout the whole of the game. Um, here we have a throw-in. as Zach is then pushed in the back, which will win ourselves a free kick on the far hand side, which will be taken by Charlie Turner. Really good position here to see if we can test the keeper because he was making a few fumbles at the beginning of the game. So let's see where this goes. Charlie pops it in. Callum Mutter with the header to put it 3-1. What a finish and his first goal for Northern Celtic. Here we have Rushmere on the ball again, knocking it over the top of myself. There's a number 14, crosses it in at the far post. They score again to make it 4-1. They really use the opportunity to get goals there. Right here we have the goalkeeper's now about to take a goal kick. Coming towards the end of the first half, it's passed straight out to Martin, who drills it in for his second goal for the club this season, which leads us to half time. Half time, Rushmere and Diamond's first team were mostly in control of the game with 60% possession. They knocked the ball about really well. But we also didn't look too out of place playing against them, considering they are now in Division 1. So we have to keep pressing on and looking positively in this game. But we're given a good run out, and let's hopefully we can start on the second half with a better go at the game. Back into the second half with the kickoff. Um, one change has been made. Dan Templeman has been brought on to the right-hand side for Ryan Dale, um, carrying a knock in pre-season, but he's getting his minutes where he, where he can. So let's be hopeful that we can do better in this half. So we have a goal kick from Jordan, which is knocked up the pitch off the head of Martin into the path of Dan. 
as he drives down the right hand side cuts him whips it in martin flicks it over the top off of kelvin what a great save by that keeper that was oh the ball is still in play just out wide rush me have the ball again playing it through as Beatty picks it up plays it inside with me for a one two as he takes it down the line really great game he had bt as he plays it in to kelvin one by martin as he flicks it over the top to zach charging down the left hand side as he cuts back in beats the fullback whips it in martin with the flying kick just not good enough here as we have a corner in the second half whipped in over the top no winners of the header win by the defender Callum Muttock just tipped onto the bar what a save that was here we have a throw in from Dan Templeman as he recollects the ball and passes it out to Callum Muttock who plays a lovely ball over the top just off the top of Martin's head and didn't quite make it And what a beautiful clip that was, as we have Joe Chiswick, another new signing coming on for Connor Clark at right back. Here we have the Rushmere goalkeeper about to take his goal kick, looking like he might play it short, but it's optioned for the long ball, won by their midfielder, plays it into their number nine. As he pushes it past Kelvin and takes it past him, beats him for pace and slots it past Jordan. What a great finish that was. We also have John Flatman that has now come on for Kieran Beattie, who had an absolute great run out in the midfield there. Now playing the ball about here, we have John as his first action. Plays it back inside to me as I loft it down the side of the pitch. Straight to their keeper though, as he hoofs it up the pitch once more. Over the top of our defence, can't let that bounce there as he lobs Jordan to make it 6-2. They were an outstanding team today, but we were, we, were on, we were getting there on top with performance-wise, considering the division they were in. As we regain possession again, knocked over the top of the pitch. Charlie wrestling for the ball as Callum chases after it. The ball's put into the box. But what you can't see here is that this should have been a penalty. The keeper and Martin meet in the middle. But as you can see by the reaction from the bench, that this should have been a penalty. The goalkeeper meets with Martin first. So a very controversial moment there. We also have Treadmill who's coming on for Martin. Another good run out for him and getting himself on the score sheet to be our second top goal scorer. But we love it when Treadmill comes on because he's got a run. That's all we want to see. And nothing much happened for the rest of the period of the game. It was very in the middle. They had a little bit more of possession. But at the end of the game, the game finished 6-2 to Rushmere. As you can see, the possession stats um, leveled out a bit more as we got more into the game in the second half. The man of the match for today was Kieran Beattie for an outstanding performance, not only at centre-half, but moving into the midfield throughout the game. So well done to him. He really deserved it. Another looking for that would have been Callum Muttock, also getting his first goal, had a really, really good performance in the centre there. So it was a really hard choice between these two for the team. A few extra stats for the season. Charlie now getting his first assist, as well as now adding Callum onto the score sheet. And Martin moving up to second place behind Aaron in the preseason goal tally. Good to see so many players getting on the score sheet. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Um, next week, we shall have footage of a Leicester Orient game, another really tough opponent to play against. So hopefully we can give as good showing as we did today. And um, hopefully I should be on the camera this next week, having picked up an injury, unfortunately, which will leave me sidelined for about two months. So hopefully we should be getting some decent footage from myself. So um, thanks, guys, and I'll see you next week.